Welcome to the Sandral Huguenot Tunnel Experience. It is on this road where brave engineers embarked on one of the boldest, most extreme engineering projects in history, building an awe-inspiringly beautiful tunnel on a scale so massive no one had dared to attempt anything like it at the time. Over 3,900 meters long, the Huguenot Tunnel extends the N1 National Road through the Detoy Cliffs Mountains that separate Paul from Worcester, providing a route that is safer, faster. It carries one lane of traffic in each direction, connecting us to the major cities in SA and contributes significantly to our economy. That's why the South African National Roads Agency, Sandral, has put together an operations plan for the much-needed upgrades to the Huguenot Tunnel. After more than 30 years of providing safe passage for over 100 million vehicles, the electrical and mechanical systems had neared the tunnel's end of life and need replacement to ensure compliance to the international safety standards and a rise in traffic volumes need the development of a second northerly bore alongside the existing tunnel to allow for a dual carriageway and a safer traveling environment. There are two sets of jet fans on either end of the tunnel. These pump fresh air into the tunnel and extract smoke in case of a fire emergency. These fans are being overhauled as part of the improvements which will assist in improving airflow. More improvements will also need to be made to the tunnel's ventilation bypass doors to allow separation of fresh air in one ceiling duct from extracting smoke during a fire in the second duct. There are safety and firefighting equipment in the cross connections located every 328 meters in the tunnel. These areas also serve as a safe waste space in case of an emergency. New variable message signs or VMS and LED road signs will be installed to improve communication with road users and ensure that they are constantly aware of any changes in the tunnel. The upgrade will include an installation of mechanical controlled dampers in the tunnel ceiling to allow for a swift extraction of smoke from one area and protect road users from smoke inhalation. The switchgear, which regulates the electrical current throughout the tunnel, will also need replacement. 6,000 tunnel light fittings will be replaced with LED lights to not only provide a well-lit tunnel but also save on electricity costs. The water main running alongside the roadway that feeds the fire hydrants will be upgraded to ensure that it can service the tunnel for another 30 years. During this period, no traffic will be allowed through the tunnel. However, Sandral is aware of how this will affect tunnel users and has therefore planned for the work to be done mostly at night between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Mondays to Thursdays. In case of emergency in the tunnel, we will ensure that enough systems are in place to communicate with all road users to direct them safely as Sandral. We remain committed in making one of our most iconic assets on par with some of the leading tunnels in the world. Sandral, creating a better South Africa for all.